it's Erica, also known as Story of Erica, over on Instagram. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys about 15 or so items that sold very quickly in the month of January. As much as I love sharing my hauls with you guys, I feel like knowing what is actually selling right now is very, very helpful. Haul videos are always super fun, but seeing what other people are consistently selling at the moment always helps me out when I'm looking for things to source, so I thought I would share some of my most recent quick sales with you guys. Everything I'm about to show you guys sold in usually one or two days, but there are a few things in here that sold within a week of listing them, which for me at least, that's still pretty quick. Like a week is a pretty quick flip, but most of the things I'm sharing with you guys sold probably within one to three days. The first thing that sold for me very quickly in the month of January was a boho swing dress from the brand Free People. It was so cute. It had like this florally medallion print on it and it was super flowy and loose. This one was a size large, so I do contribute the size to the reason that it sold so quickly. It was also a really cute style. I feel like anything that's really cute, Free People, and in a slightly bigger size is going to sell pretty quickly. The dress sold for a best offer of $30 minus the $6 fee that Poshmark takes. I was left with $24 before my investment. Keep in mind, I do not share with you guys the numbers on what I pay for the items. That's just a personal business decision of mine. The next item that sold was a chambray tank blouse from the brand Loft. This one was a super simple basic. I feel like it was a great closet staple and it was a size small. It sold for an offer to Likers price of $20 after Poshmark's 20% fee of $4 and the $150 shipping discount that I sent out. I was left with $14.50. The next piece was a We The Free waffle knit thermal tee. This one immediately got a ton of interest and it sold within 24 hours of listing it. And this one was a size extra large. So again, larger free people sizes that are very cute, basic closet staples definitely sell very quickly. This one sold for a best offer of $25 minus Poshmark's 20% fee of $5. I was left with $20 profit. The next item that sold was a wool mini skirt from the brand Lily Pulitzer. It was actually a houndstooth print. So it was a little bit out there for them. I feel like their brighter and poppier prints do a little bit better. But this one also sold very quickly, and this one actually sold on Mercari, which was also a little bit surprising. It sold for a best offer of $22 minus Mercari's $2.20 fee and the $4.25 fee that I paid for shipping. I was left with $15.50. That skirt sold, I think, maybe three or four days after listing it, so still a pretty quick sale. The next thing that sold is a new Tags cashmere sweater from the Charter Club, which is not a brand I typically pick up. But it was new with tags and it was 100% cashmere and it was so soft. So I went ahead and got it. It sold within two days of listing it for a best offer of $26 minus the $260 fee that Mercari takes and the $425 fee that I paid for shipping. I was left with $19.15. This next sale was also a Mercari sale and I mean Mercari has been kind of on fire. If you did not see my video on Mercari, I will be sure to link that here and you guys probably should go watch it because Mercari has been on fire for me. But the next thing that sold was a We The Free cropped sweatshirt that was actually really, really cute. It sold in Mercari for a best offer of $30 minus the $3 fee that Mercari takes and the $4.25 shipping fee that I paid. I was left with $22.75. This one sold, I think, within two days, so this was a really quick flip. The next piece that sold very quickly for me was an Urban Outfitters coral kind of sundress. It was actually really cute. I wish that it was a little bit longer. It was a mid-thigh length dress, and I only wear skirts and dresses that come at least to my knees, so I would have kept this one if it were long enough, but I didn't. This piece did sell in a bundle, so I don't entirely know exactly what I made on this one item alone but the entire bundle sold for $35. The other item in the bundle was also a very quick sale for me. It was a burnout free people tank that was floral and super, super cute. Both pieces sold, I think, within three or four days of relisting them. The next piece that sold very quickly for me in the month of January was a beautiful floral maxi skirt by Anthropology. This one was from Maeve and it was a size 12, so a little bit of a larger size, and it did go within a couple of days. This one sold also in a bundle for $39, and I think that the bundle entirely was priced at $80. The next piece that sold quickly for me was a Eileen Fisher linen button down blouse. This one I did have listed for a little while, but then I ended up taking down the listing and redoing the photos when I redid my closet. And I relisted it and it sold within two days of relisting. This one was an offers to like or sale, so it sold for $20 minus the $4 that Poshmark takes and the 150 shipping discount that I sent out, I was left with 1450. The next piece was another Mercari sale and this one went super quickly. It went within I think two days of listing and it gained over 30 likes on both Poshmark and Mercari within those two days. This was a size large BDG for Urban Outfitters cardigan. It was a very basic cardigan. It was super cozy and oversized looking. It was a size large. So I think that also helped it to sell very quickly. It sold a Mercari for $26 minus the 260 fee that Mercari takes and the 425 fee that I paid for shipping. I was left with $19.15. 
The next piece that sold was yet again another Mercari sale. It was a made for anthropology puff sleeve tunic dress. It had slits going really high off the sides, so it was definitely more of a tunic than a dress, but it was very long, probably about knee length, and it was really, really cute. This one was, I believe, a size 12, so it was also a larger size. Anthropology, when it's larger, always sells quickly for me. They sold a Mercari for $34 minus $340 for their fee and the $425 fee that I paid for shipping. I was left with $26.35. The next item that sold also was on Mercari. It was a pair of page skinny distressed jeans. They sold for $28 within I think three days of listing it. So minus the 280 fee that Mercari took and the 425 shipping discount that I had sent out. I was left with $20.95. The next piece that sold was a very quick sale. It sold within I think 24 hours. I did take a little bit of a lower offer on it than I wanted to, but I thought I would just move it quickly and keep things going. It was a floral ruffly blouse by Way F or where are you from? I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. I keep on asking you guys because it was in my last haul, but it sold within a day of listing it. It ended up selling for a best offer of $16, which it was a very small size, so I decided to let it go for a little bit less than usual. After Poshmark's fee of $3.20, I was left with $12.80. And then the last thing that I'm going to share with you guys that sold very quickly in the month of January was also a Mercari sale. I'm definitely not sleeping on Mercari anymore because they have been doing very, very well for me. But it was this beautiful, very simple ribbed knit coral sweater by Victoria's Secret. It had a really deep neckline and it was just very pretty, very cozy, and kind of oversized. It sold on Mercari for $19 minus $4.25 for shipping and $1.90 for Mercari's fee, I was left with $12.85 for that sale. That is everything that sold for me within a few days of listing on either Poshmark or Mercari in the month of January. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing and seeing what ended up selling quickly and let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do these videos more often. I feel like they're super fun to see what people are really actually selling. Make sure you guys leave a comment letting me know one of your favorite recent sales that sold very quickly. I would love to know what you guys are selling right now. Also comment down below your Poshmark closets or your Instagram handles so that I can keep up with you guys on social media and we can be friends over there if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up i would appreciate it so much please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye